I wanted to ask you as a skater who has done quads and trained quads, what that process was like, because I certainly can't uh, attest to training quads. It's a different paradigm. And I think especially for a woman, you know, our body does not rotate as fast as the men do. And, and it, it was such a different paradigm from a triple to a quad. And for me, you know, it was really only a possibility with my sow cow because on the takeoff, I, I had an edge that I could just really whip. And, and as, as I was going up into the air, I could start to get incredible uh, torque uh, in order to be able to complete four rotations. Um, but what's scary about, you know, a quad is you have to go in with more speed. Um, you have to you kind of it's like a, a bow that you're pulling back. And so you kind of have to pull a little further to get up high higher and and everything is not set completely straight and right and you launch with that much torque and velocity and it's wrong when you fall and when you go down it can it can end really badly wow. um, and that's something that you know is mitigated to a certain extent in a triple and even more so in a double you've got time to correct when you're rotating um, more slowly and so with a quad, it, it just, you know, I trained with a harness um, to kind of get comfortable launching my full athletic torque behind it because there's like, there's a safety element. Again, we, we take mm. off, that, I took off backwards um, from my inside edge of my left foot. And if I was, my shoulders were dropped like two millimeters to the right, I could end up putting a lot of torque into it and kind of getting pretty crooked in the air. And then I would go down and just kind of ruin my hip. Wow. Um so, so there's, there's that balance that you have to take into account. Um, everything has to just be that much more precise when you're putting another layer of torque into it. Are I was going to ask science. Yes. I was yes. about to ask you, yeah. do you, are you cognizant of the physics while you are training and performing? And the answer clearly is yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think at a, a kinesthetic level, you feel it. You're so in tune with your body as an athlete. It is your medium. It is something that you develop for 20 years in different capacities. Um, so you're just very aware. And and then, there, you know, there's a level of awareness you develop when you're, you're learning a quad and how different, you know, it, it takes a very different level of awareness of your body and messaging to your specific, you know, your arms, your legs, what needs to be done in order to get up, to get around four times and to land. Um, and so I think, yes, from, from that level, um, from a kinesthetic level, I'm, I'm aware of the physics, but from, from the angles, the torque, the scientific laws, um, you know, you, you might have to fill in, you know, do the backfill from there. <laughs> we'll get the professor on it. Exactly. Sasha, thank you.